everyone welcome to Brainfront Academy I am Ishan Banerjee and I will be teaching you the whole of class 11 and 12 biology so let me introduce with the topics here first what we are going to cover here I will be covering the whole NCRT first topic wise NCRT I will be covering here after this I will be discussing the previous year questions of CBSE 33 years of NEET and 25 years of AIMS question paper First, I will be covering the whole NCRT topic wise in separate videos. Then I will be covering the NEET uh, 33 years in another separate video and 25 years of MCQ of AIMS in another separate video. So let's start today with the first chapter that we are going to see here, the human reproduction. So let me first see the topics that we are going to cover here. First, we will be covering the reproductive events. Then we will be covering the uh, male reproductive system, female reproductive system, gametogenesis, menstrual cycle, fertilization and implantation, pregnancy and embryonic development and then <coughs> the last part that is the parturition and lactation. So we now let's start the first topic that is the reproductive events. Okay. So the first event that occurs is the formation of gametes. Formation of gametes. What is this process called as? This process is called as gametogenesis. Gametogenesis. Okay. Gametogenesis that is the sperms in males and ovum in females. Next, number point two is the transfer of the male sperms to the ovum. Okay, so the transfer of the sperms to the female genital tract. Okay. This process, the transfer of the sperms to the female genital tract is known as insemination. Insemination. Okay. This is the second part. Third part is the fusion of the sperms and the ovum. Okay. Fusion of the sperms and the ovum. Fusion of the sperm. And the ovum. This process is called as fertilization. This process is known as fertilization. What is the end result of fertilization? The end result is of fertilization is to form a zygote. To form a zygote. Okay. So, if it is asked that what is the meaning of fertilization, yeah, so you have right the fusion of the male sperm, uh, male sperms with the female ovum is known as fertilization to form a zygote. Okay. Now, one more important point that the sperms these are motile. Okay. These are motile, and the female ovum these are non-motile. Okay. This is one important point. Next, the fourth. Fourth point. Fourth point is the formation and the development of the blastocyst. Formation and development of blastocyst. Okay. It undergoes this zygote undergoes several divisions and then forms a blastocyst. So the formation and the development of blastocyst. Fifth point. The fifth point is this that blastocyst attaches to the uterine wall. Blastocyst attaches attachment to the uterine wall. Attachment to the uterine wall. This attachment to the uterine wall is known as implantation in 
प्लान टेंशन यहां पर जाइकोट बनता है फिर ब्लास्टोसिस्ट का फॉर्मेशन होता है और फिर ये ब्लास्टोसिस जाके यूटेराइन वॉल में अटैच हो जाता है ओके सो फर्टिलाइजेशन देन फॉर्मेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द ब्लास्टोसिस्ट देन इम्प्लांटेशन आफ्टर दिस एम्ब्रायनिक डेवलपमेंट ऑफर्स इन द यूटेराइन वॉल ओके सो एम्ब्रायनिक डेवलपमेंट ऑकर्स ओके एम्ब्रायनिक डेवलपमेंट ऑकर्स दिस प्रोसेस इज नोन एज जेस्टेशन जेस्टेशन वी ऑल नो दैट इन ह्यूमन बींग्स द फीमेल हैज अ जेस्टेशन पीरियड ऑफ नाइन मंथस इट डिफर्स इन वेरियस अदर एनिमल्स ओके आफ्टर द एम्ब्रायनिक डेवलपमेंट ऑकर्स Finally, the delivery of the baby. Delivery of the baby, and this process, this process is known as parturition. Parturition. Okay. So first, the process of gametogenesis, then the transfer of the males, male sperm to the female genital tract, then the fusion of the sperm. and the ovum that is known as the fertilization to form the zygote then the formation and development of the blastocyst then attachment to the uterine wall which is known as the implantation then embryonic development occurs which is known as the gestation and finally the delivery of the baby that is known as the parturition okay these are the seven reproductive events several other important points that is given in the ncert only first one that is the reproductive events reproductive events only occur after puberty after a male or a female attains his or her puberty stage reproductive events occur only after that before puberty no reproductive events occur next in old male in old male sperm formation continues okay sperm formation continues but in females ovum formation ceases at the age of 50 years this process is in females it is known as the menopause okay menopause this part is now in old men sperm formation occurs but it is in low count okay this sperm formation in male occurs but it is in low count what is this situation called it is known as the oligo zo spermia this is outside of ncert but from me perspective of view this is very important oligo zo spermia okay so this was the first parallel of ncert first we have read the reproductive events then this important points in the next lecture we will cover the main reproductive system